dead. We're not dead. We are dead. Come on. We got all day tomorrow to come up with a story. All day tomorrow? We had a month and a half to come up with something. We didn't do anything. So we'll do it tomorrow. Let me ask you this. When's the last time you went skiing? About six years ago. I think you can take the lift ticket off your jacket now. <laughs> Women like skiers. So what? You can't meet anybody. You're going out with Susan. Yeah, right. Hey, see those two women over there? I almost dated the one on the right. She's in the closet business. The closet business? What's the closet business? What is it your business? <laughs> I'm interested. She reorganizes your closet and shows you how to maximize your closet space. She looked into my closet. So you thought she was good looking. You figured this would be a good way to meet her. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? So she mentioned she had a boyfriend, and then it hit me. What do I need more closet space for? Hi, Marla. Jerry. George, Marla. Marla. George, Jerry, Stacy. Stacy. Jerry. George, Stacy. Stacy. George. George. Jerry. Marla. Stacy. So, how was your trip to Berlin? Trip to Berlin? Remember, that's why you put off doing the closets. You said you were going to Berlin for a while. Oh, right, right. The wall had just come down, and you told me you wanted to be part of the celebration. Yes, yes, I did. But, you know, I was watching it on CNN, and they covered it so well. It's fun. Why not my friends up? <laughs> you know my boyfriend went. Really? Yes, I told him all about you going, and he got all excited and decided to go. Oh, did he like it? I don't know. He never came back. Anyway, we, we met with NBC about a month ago, and they uh, gave us the green light to go ahead and write a pilot. <laughs> In fact, we got a big meeting with them tomorrow, you know. They got to approve of the story before we can write it. Wow, what a great job, a writer. Oh. Not a bad way to earn a buck. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Well, I tell you, Stacy, it's a lot of hard work, but it comes fairly easy to me. Some people write symphonies. This is my gift. <laughs> Go out with her? I might. What about Susan? What? I'm not married. I'm not allowed to go out with somebody else. Depends. Depends on what? On many factors. Like what? Well, how long you been seeing her? What's your phone call frequency? Are you on a daily? No. Semi-daily, four or five times a week. What about Saturday nights? You have to ask her out or is the date implied? It's implied. She got anything in your medicine cabinet? Might be some moisturizer. Uh-huh. Let me ask you this. Is there any Tampax in your house? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you got here. Yeah. You got yourself a girlfriend. Oh, no, no, no. no. Well, are you sure? A girlfriend? I'm looking at a guy in a semi-daily with Tampax in his house and an implied date on Saturday night. <laughs> to help you out but Did you believe my luck the first time in my life i have a good answer to the question what do you do and i have a girlfriend I mean, you don't need a girlfriend when you can answer that question that's what you say in order to get girlfriends once you can get girlfriends you don't want a girlfriend you just want more girlfriends you're gonna make a very good father someday <laughs> well it's not fair jerry it's just not fair all right, all right, that's it i'm getting out of this thing fine break up with her but you know what this means don't you no what the script, the pilot, the TV show, that's all over. Why? What do you mean? Figure it out. She's one of the executives at NBC that's going to make the decision whether or not they pick up the show. She's one of our biggest fans. You drop her off, you think they're going to pick us up? All oh, right. Oh, no, man. You know, it's a very interesting situation. Here you have a job that can help you get girls, but you also have a relationship. But if you try and get rid of the relationship so you can get the girls, you lose the job. You see the irony? Yeah, yeah, I see the... 